If your embedded product runs with Linux, here's something most people miss. Not all Linux distributions are built the same, and in many serious products, using something like Ubuntu or Debian just doesn't make sense. That's where the Yocto project comes in. You might have heard of it, but what exactly it is? And why it's a good choice when building embedded devices? At Somco Software, we work with clients in sectors like medtech and industrial automotive, where the software is part of a complete embedded system. To deliver that, we often build custom Linux-based operating systems tailored to specific hardware, performance goals and regulatory requirements. In this video, I will show you what Yocto really is, when to use it and what kind of results it makes possible. But before we do that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We have one of the most popular cute introduction courses as well as the dedicated course for developing medical software with the cute framework. Now, let's get into it. Why general purpose Linux falls short? Most people, when they think of Linux, they think of Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, those popular and common distributions. And for desktops, laptops, and even servers, they are great. But from our experience, most clients we work with often have to work with limited memory on the device. Sometimes they use custom hardware or they have to maintain strict update policy. In these cases, general purpose Linux systems fall apart fast. Why? You see, most common Linux distributions compact with features and services. Some of them are maintained by commercial vendors, sure, but for many embedded devices, you simply don't need everything that comes in the box. What's in the box? You don't need drivers for hardware that isn't even there. You don't need background demons or bloated graphical interfaces. And all of that eats into your system resources, which in embedded development are often extremely limited and must be distributed carefully. You don't want Bluetooth support on a device that doesn't even have Bluetooth. You don't want a full graphical environment if your UI is just basic screen with physical buttons. And you definitely don't want your product to break because of an automatic update. Fuck! What's wrong? Seriously? You auto-updating now? General, I won't be able to calculate the right data for the satellite for 49 minutes. How long till impact? 11 minutes and 44 seconds. Fuck Microsoft! If you are building something like medical equipment that has to run reliably for years, you need long-term stability, not constant version churn. Regulatory frameworks like the CRA or MDR require full visibility into what's actually running on your device. With standard distributions, generating an SBOM, a software bill of materials, can be difficult or even impossible. If you want to learn more about SBOMs, we've prepared a fantastic article about that topic. What's the alternative? It's called the Yocto project. And at Somco Software, we use it a lot in our projects for both medical and industrial projects. Now, the first thing to clear up is that Yocto is not a Linux distribution. It's not something you download and install on a device. It's a set of tools that lets you create your own Linux distribution tailored exactly to your project. And it's built from source. That means you don't just install ready-made packages. You download the raw source code for each component, compile it on your own machine and build it specifically for your hardware with your configuration. Or at least that's what we do. When we talk about building a custom operating system with Yocto, we are not just selecting packages from a dropdown. We are building everything from source so the build is tailored to your device and use case. Here is how testing environment is structured. At the top level, Yocto gives you a full control over what's inside your system. You define the Linux kernel version, the system components, the specific versions of the software packages, your bootloader, any hardware drivers or third-party tools. 
but instead of throwing everything into one giant config file, Yocto organizing your build into layers. Each layer acts like a modular building block. It contains packages, configuration files and recipes. Those are build instructions that tell Yocto how to fetch and compile each piece of software. Think of recipes like detailed cooking instructions and the layers as your ingredient kits. You can add, remove or tweak them depending on your project, whether you are working with Raspberry Pi or a custom ARM board. Then there's a Pocky, the reference distribution of the Yocto project. It gives you a clean starting point and includes the open embedded build system, which handles most of the heavy lifting. Actual build is powered by Bitbake, Yocto's task scheduler. It reads the recipes, resolves dependencies and builds everything into a working Linux image, one that is fully tailored to your specs. And if you are targeting a specific hardware platform, you will use a board support package or BSP. It includes the right kernel config and low level setup to make your OS run smoothly on the hardware. This modular layered architecture is what makes Yocto so effective in projects where hardware changes during the prototyping period. We explain this in this article. Simplify the whole process, look at this graph. At Sonko Software, we've used Yocto in multiple medical projects, where we knew that even stable Debian and other off-the-shelf distributions wouldn't work with our recent collaboration with Qtera, for example. The client upgraded to a more powerful hardware platform and needed an entire Linux-based system to run their new generation of the medical laser device. This required a custom tailored operating system to interface with sensor and ensure secure data handling. We also kept in mind hospitals and clients' long-term support expectations. Yocto gave us a full control from the Kellner configuration, through drivers, all the way to which services and libraries were included. Because Yocto builds everything from the source, we were able to create a detailed software bill of materials, which was web required. Now, let's be honest, Yocto is not beginner friendly. The build process can take hours, even a full day of large projects, one small misconfiguration and you're building from scratch. And depending on your setup, you might need hundreds of gigabytes of free space just to get started. It's powerful, but it's also sensitive and it has a steep learning curve. You need experience not just in Linux internals, but also in build systems, source level debugging and BSP management. But, in my opinion, the most important thing is to know what to include and, more importantly, what to leave out. At Somco Software, we've been through this process many times. We've built Yocto systems that support thousands of packages and are optimized for real-world deployment. That's why we offer it as a service. Not just to build the system once, but to help you maintain and evolve it over life cycle of your device. Let's wrap this up. If your embedded device has specific needs, a general purpose Linux distro won't be the right fit. That's where Yocto comes in. It lets you build your own Linux system from source, tailored to your hardware and project needs. At Sonko Software, We've helped clients in MedTech bring full embedded systems to life. Not just the application layer, but also the custom OS underneath. If you want to learn more, we've got a detailed blog post that breaks all of this down. You will find the link in the description. If you need help building or maintain your embedded Linux system, let's talk. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel and if you know a project manager who might need Yocto, send him this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.